previously on Hell's Kitchen Young Guns. Chef Ramsay treated the chefs to a surprise performance. It is black jacket time. Yes. That led to a surprise announcement. There are seven of you, and there's only five jackets. Sorry, two of y'all are going to have to go home because it's not going to be me. Run away. Each chef had to create a dish using randomly selected ingredients. Oh, my lord. Start now. I know I'm one of the best chefs here. I can do this. As of right now, this is definitely the most important day of my life. The first chef earning a black jacket was Trenton, followed by Bryn. Well done. I am now part of the elite club. The remaining chefs then competed in Hell's Kitchen's version of craps. Steve's choice, ah. Using all of the same ingredients. They each had come up with something special. Rice. P. Pepper. <laughs> T. Turnips. B. Bluefin tuna. I've never worked with bluefin tuna before. Kaya. Have you cooked much tuna? No, chef. First time ever. Tuna's cooked beautifully. And Megan's tuna. You've cooked the tuna. Absolutely spot on. Earn them each a black jacket. Thank you, chef. For the final challenge of the day. Tonight, I'd like to bring you all back to your roots. Hey, hey Steve. Steve. <laughs> chef Ramsay wanted Steve. Hi, Emily. Emily and Antonio. Good job, Antonio. To cook a dish inspired by their family. Amazing. In judging, the remaining three did not make it easy for Chef Ramsay. But this is tough. In the end, it was Emily. And Antonio. Who were sent home, awarding Steve. Congratulations. This is the best moment of my life. I'm not going to lie to you. The last black jacket. I, I feel like I made it. And cementing the final five to compete for the head chef position at Gordon Ramsay Steak, Paris, Las Vegas. And now, a continuation of Hell's Kitchen Young Guns. Do you have a whole bottle of champagne? Shut up. Yes. <laughs> What is that? Congratulations, the top-notch chef deserves top-notch cookware. Please enjoy your brand new all-clad cookware. Thank you, chef. We love you. Mango. That's like hard. They're all hard, Steve. None of them is off. No, this one's this one's oh, good. Steve, I'm telling you, it's not right. Oh, oh my. Oh my. I told you. I'm stubborn at times, friend. I'm sorry. You have to know this about your future husband, OK? I know. Steve and I have the funniest relationship. Like, the flirtatious stuff has, like, escalated within these past weeks. <laughs> <laughs> you two stuck together. We have love in the air? Yes, chef. Yes. Whatever you want to call it. We're going to be that divorced couple that's still sleep for each other. That's fine. If y'all get married, you have to have Gordon marry you. Yes. <laughs> do you, Steve, take Bryn to be your lawfully wedded wife? I do, chef. <laughs> what the fuck is happening out there? I'm kind of oblivious when it comes to, like, people liking me, because I'm really not used to it, because I'm so annoying. And do you, Bryn, <laughs> take Steve to be your lawfully wedded husband? Yes, yeah, chef. You know, I don't know how much he's joking around. Hopefully, like, he's, like, genuinely a little serious. I'm full of surprises, anyway. <laughs> I'm just letting you know this now. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning, chef. Morning, chef. Let's go. When I was your age as a young chef uh, in the middle of Paris getting my ass kicked, I learned very quickly that food not only needs to taste great, but needed to look great as well. Nowadays, a couple of photographs taken from a guest telephone can make a restaurant go viral instantly. I want to show you some dishes of mine that have been designed to attract customers. Holy hell. It's top row, we have this beautiful poached rhubarb with an incredible sorbet. Beautiful poached lobster. Wow, that's good. Beautiful lamb cutlet. Damn, that's good. Delicious poached peaches. Holy shit, that's good. Poached halibut with Alaskan king crab. Stunning, right? Yes, yeah, chef. Gorgeous. I mean, works of art, but they're so simple. Today, in your first individual black jacket challenge, I'll expect visually stunning dishes that taste as good as they look. Excited? Yes, yes chef. chef. Good. Your 45 minutes starts now. Let's go. Well, 
Let's see what we have in store. Your chef Ramsey's telling us to basically make a work of art on a plate. So I'm gonna go with a white fish just because it's something that's easy to make pop on a plate. But I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little intimidated. Grabbed everything fast, you know what you're doing? Yeah. What are you gonna do? Make like a little glazed carrot puree. Yep. I'm making the pan seared scallop with a glazed carrot puree. I'm just getting into my own zone and loving what I do. It's not hard, what makes these plates fucking pop is simplicity. Get a dish in mind? Um, I'm thinking like a citrus marinated duck, mm -hmm. some sweet potato puree. That's what I got right now. Right. <laughs> this is definitely a challenging challenge. We're all in black jackets now, so this is the big leads. It's definitely a higher caliber. There's really not any room for error. Out, 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 out. Uh, Kaya, doing the kiss methods, chef. Keeping it simple, stupid. I really hate plating. I hate it with a passion, with a dying passion. I honestly have no skill with it, which is funny because I'm a very artistic person, but plating just throws me off. I'm just trying to figure yeah. out how. Exactly, what can you do with it? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm pretty sure Kaya's gonna struggle just because, you know, being from Barrelville, she didn't get a lot of exposure to beautiful food like this. You got 12 minutes. I doubt, you know, mom was using tweezers to put fucking garnish on a plate. So you have everything up? Yeah, I got everything on my past. I don't see many other people ready to plate. Seven minutes left. I'm just excited. I got seven minutes to plate this dish and really focus on making sure it looks perfect. The tongs. I was just gonna put the blood orange on top and go that way. I have decided to individually pick the little clementine and blood orange crystals, like, one by one. And this shit is hard. Like, I tried using tweezers. Them bitches exploded the little pods. So literally, only a psychopath would choose to do this. And maybe that says something about me. Five minutes, guys, right? Chef Ramsay will love these individual little pods. Two minutes. Let's go. Twenty seconds remaining. Come on, ladies. Come on, Bryn. Finishing touches now. Let's go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, one, and serve. Well done. Uh, you guys clearly got the message. They look so good. I'm going to snap off some pictures. Would you mind? Uh, jump in, please, all of you. Selfie time, let's go. Do you know what? They look that good. <laughs> I'm going to pop off some photos. <laughs> He's just such a dad. He's not some, like, angry chef all the time. It's just nice to see the other side of him. Are you happy with that? Yeah, chef. How good does that look? I think it's the best plate I've done so far, chef. Yours looks really good. Thank nice you. crisscross and how you cut your duck. These are really popping. You guys <laughs> made me do this. <laughs> oh, boy. You know, now that I've got these pictures, I've just suddenly thought of something. I'm going to post your dishes live right now on my social media feed to my 7.5 million followers. I don't really even know what to think about that, honestly. It's, it's fucking nuts. We are live. That's gone out there to 7.5 million followers. And their votes are going to factor into which dish is the best in today's unique first black jacket challenge. 7.5 million, million people are going to be rating our dishes, so it's out of our hands. It's out of Chef Ramsay's hands at this point, so fingers crossed, public. Please like my dish. Awesome Come stuff. On. Today, we have a phenomenal guest judge. He is a world-renowned chef, cookbook author, restaurateur, and he's been awarded the title of LA's best chef. Please give a warm welcome to the amazing Lulu Lefebvre. Hello, Chef. How are you? Chef Ludo, you're definitely a really, really talented chef. Very good, Andy. Good. Uh, very good, thank you. Yeah, Welcome thank back. You good to thank see you. you, please. That's huge to have him here with Chef Ramsay. Uh, and you guys speak French? Je ne parle pas français. That means, like, I don't speak French in French. Ah, ah. bon. OK, it's OK. It's okay. I, I speak a bit English, it's OK. <laughs> Ça va. Well, today, uh, Chef Luda and I are going to taste all your dishes and score them each on a scale of one to five for a possible 10 points per dish. 
Also, my 7.5 million followers are ranking which dishes they like most. Those points will be added on to Ludo and my score. Excited? Good chef. Wow. First up, Bryn. Let's go. Black jackets, these don't come easily. We earn these, and so I feel like I have a lot to prove. So I was like, okay, Bryn, don't mess up. Don't mess up. Here you have a pan-seared scallop, and underneath is a coconut sauce. Visually, chef, what do you think? I think it's beautiful, visually. Yeah. It's very clean, yes. colorful. I like it. I love the seal on the scallops. Chef. Um, and the cauliflower, good choice. Chef, dig in. Wow. Good flavor. Love the crunchiness of the cauliflower. Well balanced. Seasoning's on point. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, I mean, got that wow. sweetness as well um, from the scallop. Uh, chef, time to score. Out of five, uh, what would you like? I give it a four. Four. Yeah, I'd give it a five if you put it on a different plate. Because you've got white on white, which is a no no. Uh, that's a very strong four. Thank Good you. Job. Yeah, Merci. Thank you. Good job. Bravo. Bravo. Thank you. Eight points. Well done. This feels really nice. Right now, I'm in first place. Hopefully, it stays that way. And right, next up, Steve, please. Let's go. Describe a dish, please, for Chef. Uh, I have a blood orange and fennel poached haddock, and it's got a glazed vegetable ragu and a cauliflower and turnip puree. It's also got a blood orange and blanc. So visually, you've got a lot of white going on there. So you need to just enhance yeah. that again. I would have changed the color of the plate. So, yeah, the haddock is cooked well. The orange, it's very good, but you don't have enough. Puree could be a touch finer, a little bit grainy. Chef, out of five, where are you going? A three. Yeah, I think it's a fair point. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, three as well. Thank you, chefs. Good total score, six. Kaya, let's go, please. I just tried to make it look pretty, but pretty to me isn't really, like, food pretty. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm just hoping that mine's not, like, the bottom. <laughs> Everybody uh, plate on white plate, and you change the plate. Yes. Why you pick this plate? While Chef Ramsay's social media followers are weighing in on the presentation. Thank you. Kaya is worried she's made a poor impression with guest judge Ludo Lefebvre. Everybody uh, plate on white plate, and you uh, change the plate. Why you pick this plate? More colors always More better. Color. OK, makes sense for your dish. I mean, good choice on the plate. Great choice. Yeah, great choice. Really good. Good plating. <sighs> Explain to Chef, please. So underneath is a yellow cauliflower puree, and then um, I seared the haddock in a brown butter. Let's go try. When it glistens like that, you saw Chef just flaking away wow, there yeah. like that. Look at this. Beautifully done. Love the Thank taste you. of the brown butter. Score, Chef, out of five, please. I give you four. Thank you. You know, I wanted more finishing on there, so I'm going to give it a three. Good job. Seven Good out of ten. Thank you. Good job. Thank you. Uh, right, next up, Trenton, let's go, please. I'm looking at these other plates. This was out of their ballpark, honestly. Petite food, small plates, it's, it's where my heart is. So I have a uh, pan-seared scallops with glazed carrot, chive flour, pomegranate, and uh, dill. You wing me already with the dish because it's so colorful, it's so well plating. It pops. Yeah, good job, uh, good job. Dig in, please. Puree is what? It's a uh, glazed carrot puree. Everything is well balanced. Wow. I would say it's a, almost a perfect dish. Thank you. Wow. Really good. Yeah, great balance. Wow. Thank you. Chef, where are we going uh, on marking? I give a five. Chef, I completely agree. Five. Excellent. Good job. Good job. Like, that's his number one for sure. My pleasure. God, that means so much. Perfect score. Like, wow. Next up, Megan, please. Let's go. I'm a little nervous because both chefs are loving Trent's dish, but I'm confident in my dish, and I think mine's just as good. Um, so for you, I have a pan-seared duck breast. It's a sweet potato and ginger puree, and then a little pomegranate salad with a citrus vinaigrette. Good job on the visual for the duck. It looks beautiful. Thank you, chef. I like when people show the, the skin like that. It's elegant. Cooked beautifully. Thank you, chef. Uh, really beautifully. Love the idea of the pomegranate. Do you have the confidence to just put that on the plate? Yes, chef. Um, it's almost uh, also a perfect dish. Perfect dish. I agree. For me, it's a five. Thank you, chef. Hands down. Thank without you, a doubt. Chef. chef? Five, two. Five, two. Thank you so good much, job, chef. Five out of five is ten. Very good dish. 
Well done. Uh, what a perfect timing to have you guys cooking with that level of finesse. Uh, wonderful surprise, right? I'm pretty impressed about your skin. Yep. As uh, young as you are, bravo. Good job. Excellent. So the online votes have been tabulated. The public have spoken. Let's find out how you've scored. Let's start off with Bryn. Chef and I gave you a total of eight. Social media gave you a score of three points. You finished third. The public has spoken. Not that I completely approve of the public's decision, but I guess we're all critics now, now that we all have phones. Next up, Steve. We tasted your dish and gave you six out of 10. Social media scored your dish in fifth place. That earns you one point. Oh, OK. Total score of seven. You know, it's fair. I'm not necessarily upset. I'm just going to take the criticism and apply it to the future. Next up is Kaya. Chef Lude and I give you a total of seven out of 10. Social media scored your dish in fourth place. Two points. That gives you a total of nine. Not getting dead last is nice, but getting second to last isn't any better. So now we have two of you, Trenton and Megan. Chef and I gave you both perfect scores. Social media are going to decide the winner because uh, Chef and I can't. I get the sense that Trenton doesn't think I'm a strong cook. So, you know, I'm just ready to kick his ass, honestly. The chef who got the most first place votes from my social media followers, congratulations goes to Trenton. Thank you so much. Bravo. First black jacket yesterday and uh, get number one today, so that is fucking amazing. Young man, you finished with a perfect score of 15. Megan, 14. Yes, so sir. close. Trenton, how are you feeling? I feel amazing, chef. And so you should. Megan, a close second. Yes, chef. Extraordinary, right? Yes, chef. Runner up is never good enough. Thank you, chef. Good luck. Bye, guys. So, you know, coming back with a vengeance for sure. Well, Trenton, today you're headed to Hell's Kitchen. <laughs> Not this Hell's Kitchen, of course. The one down the street at Caesar's Palace, Las Vegas. All right. Oh, schnazzy. Trenton, you will receive a very special VIP private tour from Hell's Kitchen and Head Chef and season 17's winner, Michelle Tribble. Wow. After that VIP tour at Hell's Kitchen, you'll head over to Rayo's. Famed owner and restaurateur, Frankie Pellegrino, knows meatballs better than anyone in the country, and he's sharing the family secret with you personally. It's amazing. Excited? Absolutely, Chef. And so you should be. This guided tour of Hell's Kitchen and Rayo's Meatballs Masterclass is for two of you. Ooh. Who would you like to take with you? I fully do not expect Trenton to take me on this trip because that is not who he is as a person. If anything, he's definitely taking Megan. There you go, Steve. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> wow, Steve, excited? Yes, Chef. There's another surprise, the big, 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 big gift waiting for you in the dorm. I'm ready. OK, say goodbye to the girls. Bye. 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 <laughs> oh, Trenton, bro, thank you. Um, that was a shocker. Oh, shit. What's it going to be? What's it going to be? What's it going to be? You're a cool dude, Trenton. I'll, I'm, I, maybe I'll get over the fact that you farted in your sleep. Let's see. Oh, my god. Ah, oh, wow. my god. That's a lot of stuff. Oh, my god. Good lord. Coffee makers. <laughs> oh my god. Thank you to OXO for the incredible coffee makers. I am thrilled. Holy shit. That's gonna make some fire coffee. Today, we received a huge crate of peppercorns, multicolored. But the problem is, those silly delivery guys got them all mixed up together. So I need those peppercorns separated. Now, once they're all sorted, grind them up by hand with your own mortar and pestle. It is boring work, but it needs to be done. Yes, yes chef. chef. Let's go. Hello, welcome in. It's I'm a Michelle. Pleasure to meet you. Trenton. Hello. Nice to meet you, Trenton. Steve. Steve, nice, nice to meet you. you. Welcome to Health Kitchen. Let's take a tour of the restaurant. 
So this is our open kitchen. We have our blue team here. We have, of course, our red team, just like on the show. Fun fact, we sold 180,000 Wellington since we've opened. And these guys work really, really hard to make sure that everything's up to standard. Ella's Kitchen over at Caesars is uh, it's thumping in there. It's just so much energy. It's amazing. This is just rude. This peppercorn picking is getting to all of us. Who the hell thinks of this shit? We're just a little deflated right now. Would you have taken Trent with you if you won? Fuck no. If you win, like, he is shit out of luck. Oh, absolutely. For sure. It's just a little fire in my ass. I'm coming back for some vengeance. Congratulations. Welcome to Reyes. For you to make it to the top, my man, that's a big deal. It's been good. A lot of hard work. Oh, yeah, yeah. Patience, perseverance. Absolutely. Got to keep punching it. Talk about hospitality. This guy, this guy gets it. He knows it. Well, I'm kind of sharing some of my secret meatball recipe with you all. We have beef, veal, pork, minced garlic, and parsley. I'm going to show you how we put that all together and make some magic meatballs. Man, I love meatballs. You gotta fold it in like you'd be doing a dough. We're gonna roll it together. Keep going, let's get it nice and tight. So look at that, isn't that beautiful? <laughs> nice golden brown. They're gonna be about 75% cooked. Then once we absorb some of the excess oil into the sauce and let it cook for another 20 minutes. So now, oh yeah, voila. That's good balls. Oh, my God. That's the best meatball. An extravaganza of flavor. Trent, do you still need corn on the grill? Yeah. Listen, you got to watch this, OK? Yeah, you got it. I'm working on the red side now. Why does uh, apps need tongs? No reason. It was like a learning curve setting up the entire service. How much were we par baking these crusts? Like two hey, minutes. I wouldn't is what do I'll... a whole bunch of those because she doesn't like a shoemaker way of doing things. I'm just like pissed because there's multiple things that I'm telling Trenton not to do for Chef Christina's side of the kitchen. You dumping the ice out of this? Yeah. There's not but she doesn't like any ice in this. You're not on the blue side of the kitchen anymore. You're in Chef Christina's kitchen. Who set up pizza station? I did. We're open in fucking ten minutes, dude. I don't know what this lack of sense of urgency is. Tonight, it's a big night. This is it. The whole brigade needs to work together. I can't say red team, blue team anymore, but I can say black jackets. Let's go. Rio. See you, chef. Open house kitchen, please. Let's go. Don't be a chef. Tonight's dinner in Hell's Kitchen is one of the biggest events on the Vegas Strip. I'm excited. This is great. As guests enjoy the Hell's Kitchen Museum. Oh, that's lovely. There's the van, huh? Oh, yeah. I'm already hungry. <laughs> and the opportunity to be served by Chef Ramsay's final five. Imagine every station you've got, you're running like a head chef. Yes, yeah, chef. That's the secret of black jackets, OK? With all orders coming out of one kitchen. Everybody's going to do great. We're going to be on top of our shit. Tonight will be a night to remember. Cheers to the Black Jackets, guys. As the Black Jackets face another big test. OK, here we go, guys. Good luck to all five of you. Vocal and highly communicative, yes? Yes, yeah, chef. Six, seven, seven, 31. Two beef tartare, two scallop, two risotto, two carbonara. Heard? Heard, right, chef. Thank you. Who's in charge of the apps? We are, we chef. Are, That's chef. right. Thank you. When you get the Black Jacket status, you need to become a new person, like right then and there. Seven on Rizzo? Seven minutes. Heard that? You have to strive for perfection. Kai, check in with her. Taste each other. Teamwork, yes? Megan and I are going to be the, like, the dynamic duo. Engage you three. Call it back. Yes, Chef. Kai, how long are those Rizzo? One minute out. Lobsters are good. Taste that real quick for me, please. I need the big tartare. Kai, I'm walking these up to smoke, OK? Black jackets. We are moving now, yes? Yes, Chef. Let's go. Yes, Chef. They're, like, synced up. I think it has a little too much bite still. OK. Pick it up. Let's go. Yes, yes chef. chef. It's powerful. They're just kind of flowing back and forth. Carbonara. Good. OK, I'm going to walk my carb. They're like Meg and Kaya, the Wonder Twins. You want to combine? Yeah, I'll walk. Combine. OK, sweet. Risotto, let's go. Walking Rizzo right now. Hot pan, Chef. Delicious risotto, let's go. Yes, yes chef. chef. Teamwork. This risotto is very good. On order. 
entree to halibut, to lamb, to New York strip. Heard, you heard. Yes, sir. Oh. We're sending entrees. Engage now. Don't screw it up. Let's go. I'm going to drop my first two halibut in like two minutes. Heard, you're dropping my steaks. Heard. You good, Bryn? I'm good with. What? Get in the game, Bryn. Switch on. Decisive and clear. Let's go. You okay? Yes. Anything I can help you with? Can you oil that paper for me? I got it, I got it. I want a little bit more composure from you tonight. Yes, Chef. Yeah? I know you're up against it in here. Yes, Chef. Big deep breath. Yes? And yes, we chef. absolutely prioritize and focus. Yes? yes chef. Three minutes to six top, yes? Yes, Chef. Call it back. Call it back. I could tell Bren was getting flustered. Three minutes on the two halibut, two New York strip. Nope. She needs to focus, especially this far into the competition. You don't have time for anxiety and all that bullshit. You've made it this far. You just got to be confident within yourself. Three minutes on the two halibut, two lamb, two Wellington. There's no Wellington on that six top. No answer. Might as well yes. talk to my fucking self. Yes, There's no Wellington on that six top. Yes, chef. Thank you, chef. Thank you, chef. Come on. I'm not even running this section. I know what the fuck's going on there, OK? I don't know. I'm just, I'm in my head. As a sign of a panic chef, we are not panicking. Let's go. Three minutes on the two halibut, two lamb, two Wellington. There's no Wellington on that six top. Yes, chef. Thank you, chef. As a sign of a panic chef, we are not panicking. Come on. Two lamb, two New York strip, two halibut. Thank you. I want to be Chef Ramsay's protege. Gently on the halibut. Let's yes, go. Chef. Gently. The position that I'm in right now, it sucks. 90 seconds with a six top. Is that Earth. good for you? Yeah, that's good for me. But I'm not going down without a fight. Walking halibut now. Heard halibut. Lamb is following. Now, get up. Yes, chef. I want to hear the voice. Where is it? Yes, chef. Where's the bring? It's here, chef. Uh, uh, bring it out. Yes, Open chef. up. Let's go. Understood. Let's go. Nicely cooked the halibut. Good, Steve. Meat heavy tonight. Well done. Come on, let's go. Thank you, Chef. My mother's not dead. She's in the kitchen. Oh, my God, that looks wonderful. On order, four covers, table one. Entree to halibut to Wellington. Hurt? Yes, Hurt. Yes, Firing all cylinders, guys. Yes, Chef. How long for the halibut? Three and a half. Garnish, three minutes to the window, yes? Yes, Chef. Trenton, run yes, it chef. through. What's the entree? Yes, What's chef. going? We got two halibut, two Wellington, Chef. That's right. Trenton has been solid the entire competition, but whenever you have people thrown on stations they're not necessarily used to, that shows you how they're going to handle stressful situations. Trenton, this is your moment. Let's go. You need to get in front of them with garnish. Absolutely. Let's go. Right, chef. Wakey, wakey. Let's go. Engage, engage, engage. Eyes left and right, yes? Yes, Chef. Eyes on the prize. Trenton, let's go. All right. This is the final sprint, and the only way out is through the fire. How the fuck you know? How can you fire? Trenton tonight is like a boat sinking. You're burning there. Yeah, burning. Let's go caramelize, not burn. Big difference. Not... Come on, Trenton. And the captain not realizing there's a hole in the bottom of the boat. Walking halibut now. Now? Garnish the window. Move it, Trenton. Nicely cooked, yes? Nicely cooked the halibut. OK, let's go, garnish. No answer. Garnish, I'm dressing the Wellington. Let's go. You have good days, you have bad days, you have days where everybody fucks up. You should be up for us. Yes. End of story. Absolutely. Say yes or no. Yes. That's yes. it. Fuck off. Let's go. If you don't think you're ready to be pushed down and have everything fall in around you and just not be able to pull yourself back up, then you aren't ready for this. Where's the mash? Young man. Yes, chef. Mash! Yes, chef. Yeah, today. Thank you. I love what I do. Every day, I strive to be better and better and better and better. Service, you know where we're going, yes? Thank you. What a petit top. Thank you. Dig in. Perfect. Thank you. How's your halibut? So flavorful. On order, four covers table two, entree to halibut to Wellington. Hurt? Yes, yes. Are the Wellington in? Well, it's going in now. Come on, I want to hear some urgency. Let's yes, go. Chef. Let's fall asleep, Steve. Hey, chef. After my performance in this morning's challenge, I kind of have to show that I belong here. I'm ready to kill it. First round of Wellies is resting. 
Okay, Psst. you spoke to yourself, you didn't talk to me. Hey, Chef. Engage with me, study me, look in the eyes and fucking stare me out. Chef Ramsay wants you to look somebody in their soul and tell them, like, six minutes. Look at me, time, yes? And Steve just can't do it. Chef, Wellington rested. Wellington is resting. Thank you, that gives me confidence. Hey, Chef. You know, I'm projecting my voice to the best of my ability. How long do you need, Steve? My Wellington is resting. I need three minutes. Three minutes is perfect. Steve, I want to hear you. Let's go. Yes, Chef. Do I need a fucking megaphone? Like, I don't get it. Steve, I'm two minutes out. No answer. Steve, you talk to me all the time in the dorms, and then we get into service, and you're just like, <laughs> Steve and Britt, I still haven't heard. Steve, walking in 30 seconds. Her 30 seconds, I'm slicing my wellies. Behind, coming down. Walk in Wellington. Steve. Steve, urgently, come over here. Oh, God. What did I do now? Steve, urgently, come over here. I went to the wrong point, nice and pink. Now, I've got medium and medium well. Right. Yeah, I need pink well into Have you got two more? I've got two more. Let's go. Don't look so shocked, Steve. Are you walking? I'm walking my Wellington right now. It's like a fire under my ass. The magic is in the pinkness, yes? Yes, Chef. It makes me want to do even better, to impress him. Steve. Yes, Chef. Nicely cooked, the Wellington. All right, Chef. Service. What's the verdict? Amazing. This is really good. Last table, guys. I want to go out like the first table, yes? Walking garnish. Good, let's go. I'll take it. Walking my Wellington right now. Walking with the salmon. Good. With a few hiccups behind them, the final five work together. Great job, fellas. To end their first black jacket service on a good note. All good? You're happy? Excellent. Very good. Excellent. All of you, look at me. That was a black jacket worthy service. Do you feel good for you? Yes, yes chef. Well done, all of you. Thank you, Thank chef. You, chef. It finally happened. The young guns were firing on all cylinders. Did you notice the difference? Yes, yes, chef. Chef. Now, the bad news. The competition must go on. You need to come up with two nominees that you feel are not ready to become my head chef and my next protege. Get back to the dorms and think about everything. Yes, chef. Get out of here, chef. all of you. Good job. Thank you, chef. Thank you, chef. This is the hardest decision we've had to make thus far. You got to dig deep down to the dirty bits of it, all the little things people have done. In the end, somebody's got to go home tonight. I feel like we can all kick ass in service, and we all can kick ass in certain challenges. But like, can you see yourself running a massive ass restaurant in the middle of Las Vegas? I, I feel like that's what it boils down to. Yeah, I feel like ever since I've been here, I've grown tremendously. Same. Well, me Same. too. Just but, like, like, who do you think is the lowest, too? I think Bren, honestly, because you said anxiety attacks, you start crying in the middle of service. I just think mentally you're not ready, and I just feel like I just don't see you running a restaurant on the strip in the middle of Vegas. See, that's why I'm frustrated about me, because I know that right now it's just a mental game, because I know y'all think I'm a strong cook, because I am a strong cook. I feel like, you know, if me having anxiety was really an issue for him, I wouldn't be wearing a black jacket right now. I feel like I won't go home today because I have been able to get through these mental issues. And Steve, like, I think you haven't stepped up, but you're super solid. Do I see you running a, a restaurant with how reserved you are? I don't see that. Like, every night I've said, you gotta be louder. And that's been a problem all the way across the board. I just think you're quiet. I was pushing it out there today during service. But it's just like, I really only feel the need to speak up when I need to. I'm super shocked that Trent chose me. You know, he got a little behind today. So yeah, it's kind of unusual for Garnish to be the quietest person in the kitchen. We should look into that. Kaya, I don't see the finesse. I don't see the finesse. Now I have a slight problem. Don't act like I can't learn, because clearly I've learned something this entire process. My plating, if you're talking about finesse on plating, like, that's bullshit. I feel like Trenton puts himself on this fucking pedestal that doesn't exist. He thinks he's above all of us, but really it just makes him look like a little bitch. 
now, like, I'm, I'm leaning towards fucking Trenton. He did not perform tonight. This night was, that was the worst service I've worked. But we're basing it all the way across the board. Like, I look at her plating and I don't see progression. She's fucked up the past four challenges. You guys have worked with her. Have you seen her grow? I definitely want to backhand Trenton. I have seen her adapt. Or just punch him straight up in the face. But have you seen her grow? I'm a pretty strong person. I could just break his nose if I really wanted to. I'm talking to you, and you're going to listen to what I have to say. Yeah. I would like to reiterate the fact that I literally came from knowing nothing besides what my mother has put on a plate for me in front of my face and teaching myself. Yeah. I'm, t I'm to this point with all of you. So don't tell me I can't learn finesse. What are you, like, anybody else have any fucking input? What this whole conversation comes down to is, like, if you were cooking in a restaurant, would you rather have somebody like Steve running it or somebody like me running it or somebody like Brent running it? It's really hard when you have good people. Megan. Yes, Chef. First nominee, and why, please? Our first nominee is Bryn Chef. Bryn. Yes, Chef. Why? We just feel she has a lot to learn and a lot to grow into. Wow. Second nominee, and why? Our second nominee is... We came to the consensus, uh... Megan, I need a voice. Uh... After the first Black Jacket dinner service, Chef Ramsey has asked the final five to nominate two chefs. Their first nominee was... Bryn Chef. Second nominee and why? Second nominee is... Uh... Megan, I need a voice. Uh... Steve Chef. Steve. It was really, really hard, Chef. We just feel um, communication has been an issue across this competition. Very tough indeed. Bryn, Steve, step forward, please. OK, Bryn. Yes, Chef. An amazing journey. You have this bump of anxiety that you get over. Then when you're settling down, it's almost like a different Bryn. Yes, Chef. What is the issue? Oh, sorry. I'm young, so I'm still learning a lot. Um, but, you know, it is that self-doubt. You know, I get that little anxiety, but I get over it and I get through it. And the more experience you have, the shorter the moment of anxiety. Yes, Chef. So tell me, truthfully, why should you stay in Hell's Kitchen? I have been learning so much. I just need to keep working on it, which I am daily, weekly, monthly. I'm so hungry for this position, and I know that this is the one challenge that I have to overcome. Steve. Yes, Chef. You've been one of the most consistent chefs in this competition. The finesse you hold is extraordinary for a 21-year-old. You cook with confidence, and you have the swagger. If there's one thing that I doubt right now, it's the voice to back up the cooking. Tell me, honestly, why do you think you should stay in Hell's Kitchen? Um, from a young age, you've been, like, one of my biggest inspirations. And learning from you has kind of been, like, one of my goals. And, like, to be your protege and to be molded into that great chef is kind of what I'm looking for. Yeah, I, I could be more vocal. I'm working on it. But I'm stable up here as well, just, like, mentally. I'm, I'm a rock when it comes to this. Sometimes when you shut down internally, it gives you the impression that you don't care. How can you turn that around? I don't really know how to do it. And I'm kind of hoping that you can teach me how to do it. This is really tough. But this competition is coming to an end. I wish I could have five protégés. It's not the way it works. My decision is... Steve. Take off your jacket. Young man, there's no doubt in my mind that you're going to have a great career. Let's get that absolutely clear. Your attitude has been solid. You never complained once, and you've come back fighting time and time again. 
after this competition is done, my door is still open. Thank you. OK? In fact, keep your jacket. <laughs> OK? I don't want it. Thank you, Chef. Take care, Steve. Thank you for being such a worthy competitor. Thank you for having me. It's bittersweet. I came here to learn as much as possible from Chef Ramsay. Show me your second gear now. Yes, chef. Show me your third. Let's go. Yes, chef. I definitely feel like I learned so much. Every minute I need to hear from y'all, all right? Every, every, every 60 seconds I need to fucking hear it. Chef Ramsay has definitely boosted my confidence a whole hell of a lot. Your control cooking fish and meat is perfect. Thank you. Shrimp and grits, my grandmama's favorite. The final black jacket chef is Steve. I definitely had a good time. Season 20, Hell's Kitchen. Gordon Ramsay's mad because we gave him raw chicken. <laughs> and I'm super grateful for the experience. <laughs> Overall, Hell's Kitchen has meant the world to me. I know it made grandma proud. You know, she's the whole reason I'm here. So I know she was looking down, watching the whole time. And I know she's happy, so that's cool. Young lady, yes, chef. back in line. Spot mistakes and come back with a solution. Leadership is the sign of a great chef. Is that clear? Yes, yes chef. chef. It is very, very close between you four. Get ready to dial up that volume. Yes, yes chef. Good night. Good night, Good night chef. chef. How do I now? Prove to the other chefs that I am a force to be reckoned with. The moment that I stop doubting myself is the moment that everyone needs to start worrying, and that moment's about to happen. There's only four people left now, and I feel very good about the next few days. Just gotta keep my head right, and just gotta keep moving forward, and may the better man win. Steve still has a lot to learn. Unfortunately, tonight, he learned that silence in the kitchen isn't golden, it's goodbye. Next time on Hell's Kitchen. Tonight, each of you will run your brigade to show me you're ready to be head chef. Yes, chef. The final four face off in their toughest dinner service yet. Study the ticket. Yes, chef. Run your brigade. Let's yes, go. Chef. What is on there that we've never served? I don't know, chef. I'm just fucking up every other ticket. But will the pressure be too much for one chef? Don't beat yourself up. You're better than that. So watch your count now. Wake up. And when one chef lets the power go to his head. I'm going to say four, Trent. Tell me in fucking real time. Trent is just being so aggressive right now that he needs to just chill out. Trenton. Yes, chef. Will Chef Ramsay be able to take back control of his own kitchen? Oh. Next time on a truly shocking episode. Do you not realize what you just gave to me? Of Hell's Kitchen. Oh.